Hi dear Libras, a very very good morning to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general reading for all the Libras, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not like resonate with you. At the first place, the second thing, the roles can be reversed anytime. Third thing, this is a reading from 11th to the 21st of March. Honey, let's start. Libra, your partner's current feelings for you right now. Uh, let's see. Your partner's current feelings for you right now. Uh, honey, let's see. Knight of Cups. Ooh, somebody loves you. Somebody loves you. Nice. So, Knight of Cups is the feeling that they carry for you. This person wants to come forward, feel like coming forward and offering you some kind of flowers or unexpected gifts. It could be a new person. It could be younger to you. It could be someone who is in and out of your life because Knights are always not stable, immature kind of energy. So, it's like somebody, somebody who is in and out of your life is feeling lots of love for you, lots of passion for you. Okay. Let me clarify the Knight of Cups, honey. Love messages. You can expect love messages. Okay. This person does have lots of feelings for you, but they are kind of immature. Uh, it could be somebody who is fairly new to you. Okay. Somebody who is like uh, not that much stable in your life. Four of Cups, Two of Swords and the Devil. Oops. Okay. Let me explain this to you Libra. So this person is Somebody who was not interested in you in the past might be or somebody who shows no interest in you in the past, okay? Now they are on the crossroads regarding your feelings, regarding their feelings and somebody is kind of obsessed with you, constantly thinking about you, constantly thinking about the relationship or there was a third party situation, somebody was more inclined towards the third party, now they are feeling emotions for you. So it's kind of, kind of newish energy, okay? For some of you it is newish energy, for some of you it is like you are coming out of a very toxic relationship or a bad phase of your life and somebody new is offering you love and but uh, but you are not able to you know uh, grab this love or grab this situation because you are still stuck on the past okay take it how it resonates with you uh, i'm getting yeah, uh, capricorn energy here cancer pisces scorpio gemini libra aquarius okay this person is completely on crossroads i do see that this person is still still having a third party situation here and still you know having a connection with somebody else also but they have feelings for you as well okay this is complicated this is fucking complicated yeah this is somebody who was not interested in you in the past might be or this is somebody who shows disinterest in you or this is somebody who chose somebody else over you or it could be you also you know the roles can be reversed so it could be you who chose somebody else over someone and now you are feeling the love for somebody it's difficult to understand Energies and timings are fluid in tarot. So let's see what you feel for this person. Your feelings for them. Oh God. Let's see honey. Queen of Cups. You do love this person a lot. But you are not showing it to them. You do love this person. It could be self-love, self-care, self-healing as well. But because I'm... I'm uh, particularly talking to the tarot that what you feel for this person you do have love for this person you do care for this person a lot but the thing is that you're not telling them this and you're not showing them this because in the you know um, in the tarot deck in this uh, rider weight if you see the queen of cups the cup is closed you do have feelings you care for this person you love this person but don't show them this okay let me clarify the queen of cups let me clarify the queen of cups as your feelings for them Six of Wands and Three of Pentacles and the Five of Ten of Wands. Okay. You do feel like this person is kind of mini celebrity. This person is doing really well in their life, and you do want to. You do feel like col collaborating with them. Might be this is a colleague or might be somebody related to work that you are interested in. Okay. But I do see that you feel like working uh, in this connection with this person. But this is very very traumatic. This is something that is burdensome. This is something that is very, very, uh, you know, chaotic and dramatic. And you do have emotions for this person, but I don't see you you having the guts to make things work out. Although I do see that you are not giving up on this situation, but you are not doing, doing anything about it. You do have feelings. You do feel like this person is the mini celebrity for you, apple of your eye. And this is somebody who you, who, whom you adore a lot, whom you love a lot, okay, whom you carry a lot of passion for. And you do feel like you, you want to work on this connection with them. 
but this is something very burdensome okay so you are dropping it because of burdensome situation or something and you know it could be also possible that you are dealing with two people at the same time and situation is becoming burdensome because you are not able to choose which way to go which way to go although you carry a lot of love for this person this is somebody in particular that you have lots of love for oh god okay i'm getting aries leo sagittarius and taurus virgo capricorn okay cancer pisces scorpio as well don't go with the signs go with the energy let's see what this person wants from you honey okay lovers this person wants you to decide could be your gemini that you're dealing with this person wants you to decide lovers is passionate energy intense energy lustful energy loving energy they feel lust towards you they feel connection towards you they feel like yeah you both have the connection of lust as well and love as well okay but they want you to decide they want you to take a fucking decision okay uh, because you are on the cross roads not able to decide they are also on the cross roads not able to take the decision finally but divine feminine uh, especially the woman in this connection wants to take a decision regarding this connection df wants to take df wants to take a decision towards the tia it's like divine masculine let me clarify somebody who is very passionate and whoops yeah so this person wants you to stop being an asshole okay basically uh i do see conflicts i do fight i do see fights whenever you guys talk there are always fights and conflicts and uh, there is no resolution this person wants a fucking restart in this connection passionate start in this connection and they want to have a committed relationship with you solid committed relationship with you and a family with you but they want you to decide they want you to decide whether you want this thing or not okay they are not going to settle down for less than a family less than this 10 of cups okay i do see that this this person is quite passionate about you highly passionate about you highly attracted towards you all the factors are right but they you have to decide or they have to decide i don't know which which person have to decide for the other person but i do see that this person wants to have a restart with you wants to have a connection with you but they want you to decide you know take a fucking decision this is what i'm getting here okay let's see what you want from this person or from this connection let's see it is leo sagittarius and cancer pisces scorpio energy four of swords okay you want to heal this connection you want to heal this connection you want to you know be in this state of silence for the time being be in, be in this state of i want some more time to analyze what is happening what i should do healing period you want to heal this connection with this particular person this is particularly your energy gemini libra aquarius four of swords okay you want a healing before you proceed before you do something before you make a commitment before you be in a relationship with them you want to heal the situation let me clarify the four of swords okay somebody is quite attracted and in loving relationship like feeling with you okay seven of cups page of pentacles and two of wands yes so you do have options okay you do have options or you feel like this person have options in your life and you want to communicate with this person you want to have a connection with this person you want to have open and honest conversation with this person but you're waiting you are delaying the process deliberately libra you are delaying the process deliberately of talking to this person or you know moving things forward with this person you are like you need some time of some type of healing as well because you feel this person has options not even one not even two lots of options and this person is someone who is kind of you know a player energy also for some of you for some of you it's like they are charming and they are having a very good personality and that's why they attract lots of people towards them and you want to heal the situation before you go forward towards them you want to text them you want them to text them text you you want them to talk to you you want them to open up the communication between you and them but at the same time you want them to wait i don't know for what for healing i don't know you have decided that you are going to talk to them you have decided that you are going to talk to them and you are going to you know take the initiative but not right now not right now this is not the correct time according to you okay so you want to heal things between this and uh, this person and you but you need some time to heal you want them to wait i don't see this person waiting honey the time is now okay 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, every sign is there, so don't go with the signs. Let's see what to expect from this person till the 21st of March. Six of Cups, reconciliation happening finally. I do see this person coming back to your life. This is somebody who is related to your past. This is not somebody new. Reconciliation is on the cards for you and this person, whomsoever you are dealing with, Libra. And this is some kind of very emotional reconciliation that I'm getting here. Somebody is going to be quite emotional about this reconciliation, about, about this meeting, about this relationship. Somebody is going to cry. And I feel like both of you are going to cry. Both of you are having... Uh, you know a beautiful bond of love a beautiful bond of you guys are having a history together and you are going to reminisce whatever happened in the past like sweet memories a beautiful reconciliation uh, emotional reconciliation wow beautiful eight of wands two of pentacles and the high priestess i do see that the reconciliation is going to happen between you and this person but i do see uh, this person is going to still juggle between you and uh, somebody else or you are going to juggle between you between this person and somebody else it's like i do see a reconciliation i do see lots of communication coming in but i do see juggling like inside of you 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 might be juggling whether to give them another chance or not whether to make it forward move it forward or not whether to give them another chance or you know go with somebody new it could be them it could be you it could be anybody but i do see a reconciliation happening emotional reconciliation lots of communication but again, this, uh, inside of you, there's juggling energy, you know. This person is going to, you know, try to listen to their intuition, try to be not that much open to you as they should. But uh, lots of communication coming in, lots of happiness coming in. But again, there's something that is off right now. The process of, you know, the process of full reconciliation or the process of being in a relationship with this person is kind of delayed. You know, I do see a meeting, I do see lots of communication, but the process of in being in a relationship is little delayed. This is what I'm getting here. Still juggling between you and somebody else or still juggling between, you know, past and the present moment. It's like trying to listen to their intuition, kind of confused from inside. But I do see a beautiful reconciliation happening, lots of communication coming in, emotional reconciliation. Oh, I'm getting emotional. I'm getting emotional now. Oh. So anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste. Bye-bye. Oops. Yeah. Don't look back. Bye.